Two weeks ago, our next guest became NASCAR's first Arab-American female driver when she raced at Daytona International Speedway from Hillsboro, California. Please welcome 21-year-old Tony Breidinger. Hi. Hi. Tony, it's so nice to meet you. First of all, congratulations for competing at Daytona. That's a big deal. What was that like for you? Thank you. It was so crazy. I've been dreaming to race at Daytona ever since I was a kid. So it was literally a dream come true for me. And, you know, I've watched that race so many times. But once you're in the driver's seat, it's like this whole other experience. So it was really crazy. So at what age you came in? First of all, you came in 18th place. And, and were you happy with that outcome? Yeah, so my biggest goal for the race was to finish the race. Daytona is notorious for wrecks, so I just wanted to get the race finished. I wanted to get it under my belt, just get that big track experience. So I was happy that I finished, and my next goal was to get a top 20. So I was happy about that. I got 18th. I did get up to 10th place, and I made, like, this little mistake that I keep just, like, thinking about. Um, so I'm a little bit frustrated about that, but I did hit both of my goals, so it was definitely a solid weekend. Fantastic. You've already broken records in sport. You're, so uh, you are a 19-time U.S. Auto Club race champion, which is the most ever for a woman. So you've already broken that record. Um, ha so you're 21 uh, and you're first uh, Arab-American female driver. Um, that must be, I mean, that's a, that's a big deal. You're an inspiration to a lot of women. Yeah, it's definitely exciting. I mean, um, it's really cool to be the first. Everybody loves to be the first, but I also don't want to be the last. I really want to pave the way for others. And I've received so much amazing support and so many messages. I was really surprised by like a lot of people just saying that I inspire them, which is really amazing. Um, Cause you know, like it inspires me to read those messages and it's really amazing how supportive everybody's been. How did you start uh, racing? What made you interested in that? Um, so pretty much when I was nine years old, um, it was over winter's break. My dad called me and my twin sister into his office and he said, hey, do you guys want to go go-karting this weekend? And I honestly had no idea what it was. I was just picturing Mario Karts and I was like, yeah, sure, sounds fun. Um, so he took us up to Sonoma Raceway and we took a class there and both me and my twin sister just absolutely fell in love with it. So he ended up getting us our own go-kart and we took it seriously fast. We started traveling all over the country for go-kart races. We even went to Jamaica and I just knew like that I wanted to be a race car driver my dad um he didn't really think that I was gonna like actually follow through with it he thought it was just gonna be a phase but I just like knew in my mind that I was gonna stick to it and what does your twin sister do did she stick with it or no um so basically when it came down to choosing racing or college she chose college and I was like I'm gonna go try to be a race car driver um <laughs> so she studies mechanical engineering at Purdue she's She's really smart. <laughs> wow, wow. So yeah. it, it's, it's historically, NASCAR is historically, it's a male dominated sport. That, is that at all intimidating to you? Um, honestly, it's something that I never think about. There's never been a point in time where I'm just standing there like, wow, I'm the only girl here. Cause you know, like the car doesn't know gender, the track doesn't know gender. Gender is so relevant. As soon as the helmet comes on, everybody's just a driver out there. Um, what, <laughs> so you're, you're, do you drive fast when you, and be honest, don't, don't worry about policemen watching this. Um, do you drive fast when you're like driving? Honestly, I feel like I'm a pretty safe driver. I feel like I just take all that like rage and like any need to like want to speed out on the racetrack. Um, the only thing that I'm not good at is direction. So everybody always makes fun of me. Nobody ever lets me drive. Like whenever we're going places, I'm not allowed to drive because I always get lost. And that's why I always say like, that's why I like racing because I usually just turn left so I, I can't get lost. <laughs> right. That's, I was just going to say, that's, uh, that's, that's just a circle so you can't get lost. Exactly. <laughs> All right, and how fast, what's the fastest you've gone in a car? Um, so Daytona was the fastest that I've ever gone. Um, I think we got up to like 180, 185 miles per hour. Um, but it's just crazy because that track is so big, you just lose that sensation of how fast you're going. Like you really don't think you're going that fast until you crash or anything. That's kind of when you realize how fast you're going. <laughs> yes, I would think that's, <laughs> that's the reminder. Um, all right, well, I feel like we are going to hear a lot of you uh, about you for... Uh, the next uh, in the in the future so we got you something to put on the back of your car oh my gosh yep. i love that yes <laughs> oh uh, my gosh but please don't follow me i'm horrible with directions it, i love that exactly <laughs> and we also got you a gps system so that'll go in your car amazing so, it's perfect yeah all right it was great meeting you great talking to you and good luck for your next one thank you all right tony we'll be back